As an editor, I wasted my money buying one of these motherboards. Hi there, welcome to Crypto Studio again. And this time we want to consider different kinds of motherboards uh, based on what we're going to do if we are a gamer, if we are an editor. But right now I'm going to focus on editing videos because this is exactly what I have uh, experienced in different kinds of ways. And now I'm going to show you why I just wasted my money when I bought one of these small mini motherboards for my uh, editing actions into my system. Uh, first of all, let me tell you that do not be trapped into marketing traps actually, because they are deceiving. While I just wanted to start negotiating and talking to one of these product sellers, uh, they just wanted to persuade me that motherboard doesn't have a very important role into uh, system compatibility and system stability. Everybody knows that this is not true. But actually, if it comes to something like editing, it is very important, even more important than other uh, devices like RAM, processor, or different kinds of things. But as I bought this motherboard, this motherboard can support only 2900 uh, megahertz of RAM. Actually, that person told me you can just install every kind of RAM you want on this motherboard, and that's true, because if you install any kind of RAM on your motherboard, it works. It gives you a window and then it comes up, you can run some programs, but afterwards, if you wanna play some other uh, programs or if you wanna run important softwares after a while, it doesn't really answer you in the way that you like. And if you get back to the product seller and you tell him that, okay, it happened to me and this is the problem, they just say that because you are just taking uh, something beyond the power of your system, beyond the power of uh, your motherboard. And this is true because if you are going to edit your videos based on um, the action you're going to do, for example, you're a content creator and you want to work with Premiere Pro or After Effects, while you work with such a motherboard, what happens is this test. This motherboard only supports 2900 megahertz of RAM, which means that if I install a pair of 3600 or 3200 of RAM on this, what happens? There will be only the clock of uh, 2900 megahertz and the clock speed will be exactly as much as this motherboard gives us. So this motherboard gives 2900 megahertz, I will get 2900 megahertz out of a 3300 or 3200 or 3600 megahertz RAM. That doesn't satisfy me. So what happens then? What should I do? Uh, first of all, you need to make sure at least your motherboard uh, can run, for example, 4000 megahertz uh, of RAM and it supports uh, more than this by overclocking, I mean the XMP profile activation. Actually, I activated the XMP profile and it didn't even work. Some people, even some product seller tells you that if you buy such kind of motherboards and you install a pair of, for example, 3200 RAM and then you can activate XMP profile one or profile two and then your motherboard is overclocked and you can take the uh, a speed of uh, 3200 megahertz from your RAM and your motherboard both. But if you come to the reality actually, when you check the motherboards, it has actually been written uh, in the back that for example, dual channel DDR4 up to 4400 OC, which means if you, for example, activate XMP profile one or profile two for this kind of motherboard, it will be uh, satisfying for you. But when I check the box for this kind of motherboard, it is just written like uh, 2900 max. So maximum I can take just 2900 of my RAM actually. So I'm not gonna talk about the LGA right now because this is actually LG LGA 1200 and this is LGA 1151 and I have experienced both. I have worked in both. It doesn't matter. That doesn't differ a lot. Later in another video, we will consider what is LGA and which one is better. But uh, for LGA 1151, this system just gave me a better compatibility. And for AMD, I just found this one really working because when I checked it, it also gave me 4,400. Uh, OC, which means that if I activate XMP, it will uh, give me a very uh, stable system for my AMD system. As far as I have one of the processors of Intel, which is i9, and it supports only 1200 slots, this also supports 1200 slots, 
what it gave me actually was a flickering display was um, small spots on the display when I just wanted to render my video from After Effects or when I wanted to export my video from Premiere it would blink the display a lot even sometimes it would give me blue screen something that really really bothered me and it is really irritating for many users of these softwares because while you are doing something with your um, project in Premiere or After Effects after a period of time this is what happens with the low frequency motherboards because they do not support what you want so do not trust people who say that motherboard doesn't defer it brings you the system up yes it brings every system up so what we want is important we want to edit the videos we want to uh, take high performance of that so i even activated xmp and overclocked it but as it is written on the box of this motherboard only 2900 megahertz can be taken from the motherboard in maximum format so this is not something that satisfied me actually i'm not using that it's just good for some office actions i can just install it um, for a normal computer and you know that it, it needs uh, a processor of lga 1200 not all the lga not all the cpus can be uh, suitable for this motherboard and as a conclusion if i want to tell you what kind of motherboard should you buy the brand is not that much important but what is really important is this that your motherboard is supportable based on the ram you're going to choose how much frequency does your motherboard support for example if you want to run your system for editing softwares it's better to buy a motherboard with at least 4000 megahertz of frequency because if it doesn't support that or lower than that it doesn't satisfy you it doesn't give you a stable system you will have blue screen error uh, and you will have a flickering display on your monitor you will have a very hot system even that works hotter than a normal computer this is what i have really experienced that that's all because your ram is just clocking itself as fast as the motherboard and it cannot go beyond that's very important for your systems so do not buy the motherboard that doesn't support more than 4000 frequency of rams because it will bother you in many cases so my opinion for lga 1151 is this z 390a pro because it can support uh, up to 4400 megahertz with xmp profile and for amd this is my suggestion actually so there could be other options more than that 5000 or even more but this is what i have experienced these are reasonable you can buy them with reasonable prices uh, but if i come to the brand a little just in a printers i will tell that asus is something that i really like and it is my favorite brand for uh, electronic and computer devices I hope you found all these things useful. If there is another idea that you have, you can share it with me by writing your comment below. Don't forget to subscribe me. I will see you next time. Have a good day and goodbye.